current events and Bible prophecy, the wise shall understand. Hi, this is Damian Jordan. On January 25th, this headline came out from CNBC under Health and Science. Biden administration withdraws COVID vaccine mandate for businesses after losing Supreme Court case. There are some key points in this article by Spencer Kimball, and as we scroll down to take a look at them, they are as follows. First of all, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration said it is pulling the vaccine and testing rules for businesses effective Wednesday. The second point, the Supreme Court's conservative majority blocked the rules earlier this month saying OSHA had exceeded the authority given to the agency by Congress. Now you may be wondering what this particular story has to do with Bible prophecy. Obviously it's directly related to current events discussions. What I will do very simply is refer you to the website the wise shall understand. The Biden administration is formally withdrawing its vaccine and testing mandate for businesses after the Supreme Court blocked the requirement earlier this month. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration will pull the rule for businesses effective Wednesday, January 26, the agency said in a statement posted to its website Tuesday. The Supreme Court's conservative majority in a 6-3 decision ruled that OSHA had exceeded its authority. The Biden administration is ending its legal battle over the mandate, at least for now. OSHA will ask the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit to dismiss all cases related to the mandate, according to a Labor Department spokesperson. The administration had faced dozens of lawsuits from Republican-led states, private businesses, religious groups, and national trade associations. The Sixth Circuit has jurisdiction over those cases. If we tab over to this story as it's covered at MSN, Biden Labor Department is pulling its worker COVID vaccine mandate. Joe Biden's Department of Labor announced Tuesday it is withdrawing the COVID-19 vaccine or test requirement for U.S. employers with at least 100 employees after the Supreme Court blocked the rule. Ron Johnson, U.S. Senator for Wisconsin, issued a press release and as you can see right here in the headline video release Senator Ron Johnson COVID-19 a second opinion panel garners over 800,000 views in 24 hours this press release is dated January 25th as we scroll down we can see right here a photograph from the video footage and if you uh, look below that photograph there is a click here for the video scrolling down a little bit further what we have right here is Oshkosh on Monday US Senator Ron Johnson Republican of Wisconsin held a panel discussion with a group of world-renowned doctors and medical experts to provide a different perspective on the global pandemic response the current state of knowledge of early and hospital treatment vaccine efficacy and safety what went right what went wrong what should be done now and what needs to be addressed long term senator ron johnson said i'm hoping everybody that viewed this today recognizes the qualifications of the individuals that spoke here today the viewpoints expressed are those of those individuals expressing it but these are real-world experiences from people that are on the front lines that are treating patients. It's different from probably anything you've heard unless you've been following these people in the media, trying to break through, trying to convey to the American public and provide the information that I think we all need and that we all deserve. And so once again, this press release is available at United States Senator Ron Johnson's website. And 
The link is provided within the description. We are living in prophetic times. Current event headlines are definitely resembling themes in Bible prophecy. Repent and believe the gospel. You see, it says in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. That is the gospel message. Repent and believe the gospel. Current events and Bible prophecy. What we have right here are four of the most important verses in the Bible. They concisely present the gospel message. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which also you received and in which you stand, by which you are saved if you hold fast that word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Those three key points are what comprise the gospel message. It is what you must believe to be saved. And once again, just to review, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. That's point number one. He was buried. That's point number two. And number three, he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. That is the gospel message. Friends, I encourage you, as you see the various things that are happening in the world today, and even how current event headlines are resembling themes in Bible prophecy, the most important thing that you can do is believe and receive the gospel message because the Word of God is very specific with respect to what we must believe to be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you shall be saved.